Good morning guys, it is super duper early. Harrison's still in bed, Everly isn't. Mike's in the shower and I just thought I would take this opportunity to put away the washing. Friday and then all of my present will be downstairs. It is, it's going to be your birthday on then Friday. I'm, then I'm going to be... But guess what? What? I set up some of your toys last night. Bye Marley. Mummy should have been in bed, but she was making Lego for you to play with. Yeah. Is that cool? Look, so this is the onion, and they have a parka in it. See you later, Daddy. Yeah. All right, Bye. breakfast time, girl. Good listening, everybody, <laughs> including Mummy. Breakfast time is done. Emily is crying, well, whinging, because she was like, more, uh, but she's had more than enough. Um, Harrison is playing with his Lego, which is cool. I set it out for him last night, just for the activity this morning. Um, Fun because it's your birthday. It is your birthday, so look, you've got your, your birthday hair cut yeah, yesterday. Four. You're going to be four. Wow. Every single year, if you've watched my vlogs for the past four years, um, you'll know that on his birthday I always get him a t shirt made up. So I need to go and get that done today. Um, I also need to go and pick up an order from a shop, uh, but obviously with me, so it can be tricky. She only got to stay and tomorrow to get everything sorted. Um, that includes finishing off his birthday board, which again is something that I make every single year. Um, but I mean, I can only do as much as I can do. I'm not putting any like pressure or stress on myself this year because it just gets silly. So Evelyn's just gone down for her nap. Harrison is just chilling. I'm gonna quickly bag up all of her three to six like sleep suits and vests. Um, I need to put Evelyn's big bed up, which is up in the loft. Um, well, her big cot, should I say. So I need to make a little bit of room. And also I figured with the next couple of weeks being busy with birthdays and things, probably gonna have visitors and I want the house looking like as good as possible. Even already at six months old, I'm looking at clothes and like, oh my god, how did she ever fit in this? Oh my god, it's emotional. <laughs> so there is a black bag of stuff. These are the pyjamas that fit and here are all of her little new summer vests. Perfect. I did a click and collect order, which is so easy. Um, yeah, let's go. I'm hungry. Does that have anything to do with the fact that we've just done the food shopping? And you can see all of the goodies. <laughs> What's your favourite thing you can see? Mm -hmm. Huh? What do you see that's a naughty thing? <laughs> Tape to wrap up somebody's oh. birthday present. Uh, no, that's silly. Why is that my Lego in the bath? Because it was in the bath, in the sink. What? Because it was in the garden. Oh. It got all yucky. Now it's time to put all of this away. Probably, I mean, I hate food shopping as it is. Not that I've actually done the food shopping, um, but putting it away, <laughs> the worst. Everly's awake now. She's just had a two hour nap. We're both in different clothes. I think Everly's is self explanatory. Mine, however, um, <coughs> yeah, I bent down and my jumpsuit snapped the strap which is fun. So I'm just heading to Wilco. I've got an order that I need to pick up for the little guy's birthday. I also need wrapping paper. And that is everything done for Harrison's birthday. I've got all of his presents now, um, all of his party bag stuff, all of his party things, 10 million sweets for all of his friends and all their stuff. Their party bags are pretty cool actually. Um, so we got massive bubble ones for every child and then all of the boys have avengers drawing sets the girls have frozen i believe then i just bought the usual like party bag <laughs> rubbish really to go inside um and sweets and 
yeah I love it don't I kids um so we're just at the uh train station waiting for Mike we'll pick him up on the way back um and Harris is telling me how he's feeling about his birthday Harrison do you want to tell everybody um actually I'm nervous he's excited and nervous why are you nervous All your friends are going to be there that you don't see. You've not seen them for a while, have you? No. I've never even seen George ever. I know. Your best little friend George is going to be there. How exciting! Harrison's going to be four. Because I was one and then I was two. And then now I'm three. Next I'll be four. Here he comes. Yeah. Billy, why are you crying? <laughs> Harrison, I think you got away with it, babe. So we've not long been in, but I quickly took Harrison out um, to take some Instagram pictures that I needed to take for an ad. Um, Mike is just now watching the end of the football. Love Island's on though, so I'm a little bit like, ah. Oh. But I'm going to chuck in some dinner. Um, Harrison ate earlier on. Um, so yeah, we're having a bit of a late dinner. But it's okay because, like I said, Mike's watching football anyway. So I'm going to make something quick. Um, with food shopping, obviously we did earlier. So we've got quite a lot in, which is handy. There's lots to choose from. My battery just died, but I was saying that Mike came to um, rescue me and his dinner. Because we didn't season the chicken. It's stereotype here, and I'm not going to get involved, but I'm just saying. He's just saying, guys. Right, let me bring in the washing. It's been out there since that thing this morning. I can't believe how light it is still. It's like 9 9.30. I'm going to work on Harrison's birthday board whilst I find yeah, it tonight. Huh? Yeah, right. yeah, there's rice in the cupboard. I can't believe I've left everything so last minute this year. It's just not like me at all. I honestly do get so many questions about how I make these boards. Um, I buy the boards from um, Hobbycraft. Normally I buy these massive ones that are like sold singly. Um, but actually this year I went for one that's half a size. Um, because it doesn't need them to be that big and I bought these as part of a multi-pack which were I think eight ninety nine from Hobbycraft. The pens that I use every year are the same pens, um, these paper mania ones, they're amazing to use, um, they're just really really easy and last a long long time. I really like them, it's kind of my take on like a birthday card I guess. I just like them, yeah they probably will never look at them, Harrison will probably not be interested to know how many teeth he had, um, but he might and I will like looking back on them. So I'm going to continue to make good for you guys, it is Thursday, it is bright and early, well not so bright actually but very early, it's about 6 o'clock, so I'd come downstairs, get ready, grab a coffee and kind of get ahead of the day a little bit before they wake up again um this morning i am off to london for an event the very lovely Giovanna fletcher g um is hosting a brunch with next you guys know that i absolutely love next especially for the children so i'm really excited for that i think we're going to get like a sneak peek of the new collection and stuff um and also the kids coming with me because i believe there's like kid stuff going on there um, so they'll be entertained and whatever, or at least I'm hoping so. Because I'm not sure how much brunch will actually happen with a six month old and a four year old tomorrow. Anyway, I'm sure it's going to be so much fun. Um, and then when I come home, I have got loads to do. Harrison turns four tomorrow, which I just cannot believe, but that's just a whole different thing. Um, so I've got to go and get balloons, I've got to go and pick up his t-shirt, I've got to do the final touches for his birthday party on Saturday, I've got a wrap presents. It's all pretty busy, pretty chaotic, but I'm going to try, 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 try to stay as calm as possible. So it's not looking too bright outside. I'm not sure whether to wear my new black TU um, denim jacket or to um or whether 
to wear my standard blue one. So Harrison's away. He just came downstairs and gave me the best cuddles I think I've ever, ever, ever had. Um, which was rather delicious. So I'm going to get his breakfast now. He wants Frosties. Um, let's find some Frosties. I like to give Harrison the choice of what he has for breakfast. Um, a lot of people are like, why do you give like a three, four year old a choice in what to eat? And honestly, it's because what's the point in giving him something that he's not going to eat? Like he will just not eat it. Um, so I'd rather just give him a choice and then he kind of has no excuse as to why he didn't eat it unless, you know. So Harrison wants to tell us all about his dream last night. Right. Uh, so, I was at lunch house and every Lego in uh, every Lego in the movie was at Len's house. Wow. And uh, then we went to the secret village. The secret village? Yeah. That's awesome. Was it fun? Yeah. I was like, and all of my friends are like panicking because they didn't know where Daddy and Mummy and you are. Oh, well, but, you weren't panicking. Yeah, I was. Oh, you was panicking. But Mummy and Daddy would never be too and far. And then it was just, and then it was just where we are. Oh, we were just there anyway. Yeah. Oh, panic over. <laughs> That's a nice smile. You love seeing yourself, don't you? You're so cute. Right. Where's your porridge? <laughs> Did you have a nice sleep? You slept well. She went to bed at half six. Yeah. Half six. And you just woken up. You clever girl. You clever, clever girl. You let mummy sleep again. You're so cute. I love you. Yeah. Everly eats really, really well. However, she is completely distracted by the fact that she's looking around for Harrison all of the time. Like she's constantly looking for him. Everly, come on. You see him all day long. You see him all day long. <laughs> come on. There he is, look. Oh, Harrison, don't hide from her because she's looking for you. both wearing their little next clothes because I thought that would be appropriate for today. Um, yeah, it is time. 7.26. We are winning today, Harrison. No! I feel like I'd finally got to that point where I hadn't forgotten that those YouTube and YouTube songs had like distanced themselves in my memory. And now they're back with a vengeance. We are listening to them all of the time. Except now there's a really annoying one about shark. I'm sure you know what it is. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark. We have made it to Mayfair. Uh, we're just going to walk up to the event route, I believe, is in Grover Square. And we've got the bus on the train station. Just so much more chilled. Um, I would have vlogged, but um, I'm not shower. Just a shop, darling. No, it's just the advertising in the window. Just the advertising in the window. It's cool, isn't it? There's another one over there. Should we go see? There's another one over there. Over there. Do you want to look? Yeah! Oh, Christmas yet. I know, it's not even Christmas! Can you believe it? It's not even your birthday yet! Okay. It's not even your birthday yet! No. That's funny! Happy birthday! I know! <laughs> but it's only July! What? I know, but I think that's because it's a, a Christmas present, isn't it?
such a lovely time. Thomas and Emily have both been in with the nannies that Next have provided and they've just I've had the best well, morning and afternoon ever. Emily's just now in the little um, sensory tent um, Yeah, which is this is the nicest, nicest, nicest event. Um, I don't want to go home. You too. So we are very nearly home. Uh, we had such a nice time, honestly, didn't we, Harrison? No. We're not going home. We are going. We're, going to the park. We're not going to the park. Yes, we are. So we are home now, and honestly, we had such a nice day. We were there at the event for I think about four and a half hours. I don't think I've ever been at an event for like four hours before, um, which says a lot. There was great company, great food. They had nannies. So whilst we was on our way back from the station this morning, we popped into Lush. And I got Harrison um, a bot bath bomb. I thought it'd be nice for him to have a nice bath, special bath on his birthday. And whilst I was in the air, I picked up some of the sleepy cream to give him a go. But how kind is this? The little, the little boy, the guy that works in the shop, overheard me saying about Harrison's birthday tomorrow. Um, and he gave him a turtle, turtle jelly bomb. Um, which I thought was so, so nice. Like, so I've got myself a little coffee. A little coffee at like six o'clock in the evening. Mm. Right, let's see what we got for dinner today. I love dinner, Mommy. You love dinner, do you? Yeah. I think we've got fajitas tonight. Can I tell you a joke? I'm just heating up every a pouch for dinner. Uh, just some vegetables tonight because it's very late and I think she's just like hungry and tired. Anyway, last night she had, um, what did she have? I blended up some spaghetti bolognese for her and she loved it. So much easier like than having the same meals as you. She's got this little Russell Hobbs like mini blender. It's a dream. So I'm just in the car running to get um, this bloom. <laughs> blown up i got it in hobby craft but i picked it up the other day because they always sell out of like numbers when it's coming up to the weekend um trust me um so i picked it up but mike's just got in now it's 20 past seven and they close at eight and i don't you know you can just already like sense that they're gonna be like oh no sorry we don't blow up balloons after seven o'clock or just something ridiculous like that Mission accomplished. I got the balloons. Can you see them behind me? Yeah. Uh, I got a big four and a star because I couldn't help myself. Um, but yeah, I feel better now. I was getting a bit stressed. I was like, oh no, he's got to have a balloon. Does he really need a balloon? No, he doesn't really need a balloon. But you know, it's nice for him. Um, but yeah, oh God, he's four tomorrow. I cannot believe it. I feel like, I genuinely feel like this four years have just disappeared. Um, we've had an amazing four years. They've been the best four years of my life, but they have just disappeared in the blink of an eye. Um, it's insane. How is he four? This time four years ago, I was probably on my bouncy ball or eating copious amounts of curry or pineapple. Definitely pineapple, burning my lips with pineapple. Um, and little did I know that I'd be going to bed and waking up, like starting to go into labour. Oh, I wish I could do it again. Honestly, it was magic. You know, like when you remember something so clearly and you feel like you have to keep on remembering it because you don't ever want to forget that feeling. Um, like I don't ever want to forget how I felt. Um, and I can still remember it. I can still remember all the little details, um, the smallest little things. And I just, oh, I want to remember it forever. <laughs> I've told Mike not to put um, Harrison to bed tonight, not not for the whole night, like while I'm out. Everly went down, I put her down just before I left, um, but I just want, I need to, first of all I need to measure Harrison for his birthday board. I didn't even fill out how tall he was last, in last year's one, so I still need to fill that in. 
um but yeah i need to do that and also i just want to give him like the biggest cuddle ever um before he goes to bed because today is the last day that he's three it was a good one he had a lot of fun this morning which is cool um so i'm pleased he had a good day but yeah oh man so funny isn't it kids are just so excited for their birthday he's like mum i'm a little bit nervous for when i'm four because i don't know how to decorate my party or something um, and i'm gonna see all of my friends and it's so cute he's so so excited um but yeah anyway rambling 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 i've got a lot to do it is now 7 48 um i've got tons to do i'll probably do like a time lapse or something of me wrapping the presents and all of that jazz um this evening but that'll probably be it because i'm not gonna lie there's a lot to do and the house needs sorting uh because we're gonna have guests coming over um i know for sure on sunday we've got mike's friends coming around for like a barbecue then saturday we've got his party but that's not our house but tomorrow like my mum and dad will come in um mike's mum and dad will come in um who knows we'll just have guests and i can't stand the idea of it being a mess or there will be a mess won't it once harrison attacks like the wrapping paper and stuff <laughs> oh, so cute i feel like i'm gonna be just scrolling through baby pictures tonight when harrison's teeny tiny teeny teeny tiny bless him okay let's do that now so here is me being all pregnant um on the sofa i remember i was at my mum and dad's house mike was working so i was like right if i go to my mum and dad's house it'd be easy for me to get to the hospital from there um so i went there um <laughs> nice picture of me and labor here nice There's the pineapple resting on my bump. I will find one of Harrison's first pictures, bless him. So cute. <laughs> Look at him. So the good news is that Harrison didn't go to bed whilst I was out. Um, the bad news is, <laughs> neither did Emily. <laughs> right, come on guys. Harrison, how do you feel that this is your last day at the world of Oliver, your last day of being three years old? <laughs> what? <laughs> Just wrapped up some presents and we're trying to figure out like what to do tomorrow, like whether we should go out or I don't know. What do you think, Mike? Yeah, it's meant to be cloudy. It's all hot, we could have gone to camp sand. I hate sand. I was as shit as I expected. Not going to camp sand. Yeah, he would. Thanks for your response. It's one in Greenwich. Actually. Yeah, we can't decide where to take him, but we'll do something. Even we'll just do something. Um, yeah. No need to get all the balloons hung up. It is about 12.31 when it's done. So all of the balloons are done. We had to put them in here because the string wasn't long enough to go in the front room. Um, I've put all of these presents out on the table and these little board. And then in the morning I'm going to put some birthday cake down and um, just spoil him. So yeah, I am chuffed with that. Um, I doubt that I'm going to be vlogging tomorrow because of course it's Harrison's birthday. I can't believe Harrison is now four. It's the 13th now so yeah he's four years old. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. I really 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 am appreciating every single one at the moment. Like every time it goes up a single number I'm like yay. Uh, so I'd be very grateful for that and in the comments just leave Harrison something nice. That would be very very kind. 
and he'll be super grateful. So yeah, I'm gonna go to bed now because otherwise, well, I have a feeling that he's gonna wake up super duper early anyway. Um, so yeah, good night guys.